Hey guys. I'm do a VR today. For Mr. Ghost Cobb. He's got a very interesting giveaway going on. Smoking my butch chicken with some Cornell and Deal, Star of the East. Thanks, Brian. Ghost Cop's question was mind numbing for me. Much in the way my last or my giveaway was the same kind of thing. It's like, how do you pick, you know? He wants to know what one event in history, if you could go back and witness it, be a part of it or whatever, what would you pick? You guys know I'm a military history buff. so much stuff so much stuff I mean just from an American standpoint stuff like Washington crossing the Delaware the surrender of Cornwallis being on the boat with Francis Scott Key that would have been pretty cool to see what he saw Numerous Civil War battles, World War One. be there when Alvin York captured all those Germans by himself, or to witness the, the Christmas truce, that would have been something. World War Two, man. I would like to have been with Hitler, with Adolf Hitler, when D-Day happened. <laughs> hey Adolf, check it out, look at that, look at all them boats out there man. I would love to have been with him prior to that, when the uh, the Russians surrounded Stalingrad, demolished the 6th Army entirely. <laughs> I would have loved to have been in his bunker when the Battle of the Bulge was repulsed. I would love to have seen the flag planted on Mount Suribachi. love to have been on the Missouri when the Japanese formally surrendered. Those are all great moments in history. I would love to have been at the uh, dedication of the Vietnam Memorial Wall. In spite of all the politics and bad feelings that were present at that. I'm doing a video. Huh? I'm doing a video. I would love to have seen Ronald Reagan's D-Day speech that he did in France in 1984. Lots of stuff. <clears throat> Some sports moments I would have really enjoyed seeing too. I would love to have seen Jesse Owens 
demolish Adolf Hitler's idea of uh, superior race in the 1936 Olympics. I would love to have seen the uh, live, I would love to have seen the USA-Russia hockey game in 1980. I watched it on TV, whatever they showed of it, I don't recall. love to have seen Muhammad Ali fight. Maybe when he beat Liston or Frazier. Everybody talking about Joel Frazier. So many, so many moments. I would have loved to have seen Bobby Orr score the winning goal for the Stanley Cup. Music events, I could go on and on, but the one that really stands out to me is probably the Monterey Pop Festival in 1967. I think that would have been the festival to be at, even above Woodstock for me. one I settled on, the moment I settled on, happened on July, June 28th, June 28th, 1776. That was the, the day that uh, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Ben Franklin, Roger Sherman, and I have to look at my notes, Robert Livingston from New York got together with a committee from Congress and read them their first draft, first final draft of the Committee of Five of the Declaration of Independence. It's that moment that's memorialized in that uh, Turnbull painting or Trumbull, I can't remember his name, John Turnbull I think, it was also on the back of the two dollar bill for a while. To be in that room when those guys heard the, the first reading, basically, of the Declaration of Independence would have been spine tingling. Because they all knew that this was it. There was no turning back now. They were going to present it to Congress in a, a few days. Everybody knew they were going to vote it in. There was very little question about that. But to, to hear it that first time, to hear all those words, especially the last sentence. I could probably quote it, but I'm gonna read it to make sure I don't mess it up. I've said it a few times. But when they got through reading the entire declaration and they said, and for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortune, and our sacred honor. And I think they wrote it in that particular order for a reason. This is just my own ramblings. I think they, they were ready to give up their lives for independence. They were ready to stand beside each other and die if necessary. Then they were ready, as their families were, their fortunes, to give up everything they had if it came to that. Not just their lives, but their families, their property, their future, everything. And last, and I think most importantly, their sacred honor. They pledged their sacred honor to one another that no matter what happened, they weren't going to turn back. They weren't going to turn their backs on each other. They weren't going to change their mind. They were going to see it through no matter what. And to be in that room when those 
50 something men, 56 men, I think, 52. It wasn't the full Congress at that point. But to be in the room when those guys decided to accept that last sentence had to have been something like has never before or never since happened. Uh, I mean, there have been times when, you know, like Sparta, when armies stood there to the very end and, you know, gave everything they had for whatever it was they were fighting for. That's happened a lot of times. Uh, these people were putting not only their own lives, their own fortunes, everything on the line. They were putting a lot of people at risk. And a lot of people died because of it. A lot of people died for it, not just because of it. Uh, I don't know, it just seems like that would have been a, a moment to behold, to be in the room with, with men that uh, had not only come to that point, but had enough guts to, to follow through with it. That would have been something. So that's my, that's my moment in history that I would want to be at, June 28, 1776. And uh, one other thing I would love to have witnessed but would be the marriage of my grandparents. It's kind of where, where my family got its start, I guess. I mean, it goes back deeper than that, obviously, but uh, me and my brothers and stuff like that all point back to our grandparents as somebody that's very, very important in our lives. And uh, I think it would have been neat to have been there. <laughs> that would have been something. So anyway, Sean, congrats on your channel. Uh, congrats on your anniversary. I appreciate you doing this giveaway. This is, a, this is gonna be a good one. I think there's going to be some really good VRs that come out of this. There already have been. But, uh, you know, I'll see you here next year for your second anniversary giveaway. All right. Take it easy, brother.